What's up, guys? So Split is written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and it stars James McAvoy and Anya Taylor-Joy, who is also in The Witch. And the film is the story of three girls that get abducted by a man with 23 personalities inside of him. But in reality, we only get to see about six or seven of these personalities. And right off the bat, I want to say that James McAvoy is absolutely phenomenal in this movie. Like I said, we get to see about six or seven of these personalities that are with, within him, within this guy. And each one of them, he, he does something new, he does something different, his body language changes. He gives a phenomenal performance through this movie. It's like a Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing, but there's so many more people inside of him. It's not just two, two sides, it's, it's so many sides that we get to see. And I think he did a phenomenal job in this movie. If, if this film was released maybe in November or December, I think... He, he he might have had a shot to get into the lead actor race somewhere, but this film being released in January, it's just not going to happen. It's it's not going to happen almost 100%. For next year's Oscars, it, there's no chance, but he is phenomenal in this film. And Anya Taylor-Joy as well. She is great in this movie too. This is the first time I've seen her in a movie that actually she has like a, an actual normal accent that I could understand. See, in The Witch, she had to sort of put on this sort of really old English accent, I guess you could say, uh, that ha some of the time you, you don't really understand what she's saying. It's just because of the way that the thing was written. But that's another conversation. I'm just saying in this film, she's great, and she's, I, I can't wait to see what she does next because she's, ah, she's a really good actress. Shyamalan did a great job directing this film. I think that the directing was very well done. And for the most part, I think it was well written as well. Uh, now you see in all, uh, of, or most of M. Night Shyamalan's films, there is sort of a twist uh, at the end of the movie. Uh, and it's this big kind of, whoa, kind of moment. In this one, there's not really a twist. There's more of a reveal. I have to say that the reveal was a bit offsetting, and it was a bit much for me. There's a subplot involving flashbacks that is never resolved. Even at the end of the movie, it's not resolved. And I don't understand why he put it in the film, because there's no, there's no end to that story. It just kind of leaves you like, well, well, well that kind of sucks. You know, like I said, I'm not going to give anything away, but at the end of the movie, with this with this subplot, it's just like, oh, okay, well well that kinda sucks. Like why end it like that? You know, why why would you do that? I, I don't understand. But look at other than those uh, things that, that I didn't really like about the movie, this is a it's a great thriller. I think that it's it's a lot of like on the edge of your seat kind of suspense. That, that you're wanting to know what happens next. I think if you want to compare this film to anything, it's 10 Cloverfield Lane, the same kind of feel that that movie had. Actually, they're very similar in tone, to be honest with you. And overall, Split is a very well-directed, well-acted, and mostly well-written film, uh, for my taste anyway, and I'm going to give this one four out of five stars. I really did enjoy it. Uh, it's a fun time at the theater. It's a, it's a fun time if you watch it with a big crowd of people. It is, it is a fun movie-going experience, so uh, I do recommend it to you. And if you did see it, comment your thoughts in the comments, or did you plan on seeing it? What did you think about the film? Also, you can subscribe to this channel, because a little later today, I'm going to be posting my review for The Founder, and then tomorrow, I'll be posting my review for 20th Century Women, and then either tomorrow night or uh, Monday afternoon... I'll uh, be posting my review for A Monster Calls. Finally, I'll be posting my review for, for that film. So you can keep an eye out for that. And then Tuesday, uh, maybe around uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, somewhere around there, I'll be posting my video, of my live reactions from the Oscar nominations. Uh, that's going to be a very fun video. It's my favorite time of the year. Uh, guys, you can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. You can also follow me on Snapchat at RyanKing72 and on Instagram at KingArises131. Guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Split. Over and out. He's done awful things to people and he'll do awful things to you.